What is going on guys, it is Joe, and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Now you guys know I love French toast. You guys know I love pancakes. Now what happens when you take the do and you combine them? You get French toast pancakes, okay? This right here is a playbook straight out of Greg's uh, OG cookbook, and you actually find this on his YouTube channel. I'm gonna link the video for this recipe in the description down below, but you basically take everything you love about French toast, bread, egg whites, vanilla extract, cinnamon, and sweetener, and you throw it into a blender, blend it up, and that's your batter, and now you have French toast pancakes. I mean, who the f would have thought? These pancakes right here, extremely thick. And I love me a heighty and girthy pancake. First we can pretty much make two extra large pancakes or four smaller pancakes, whatever looks more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Now, I will warn you with this recipe, okay? It does involve guar gum or xanthan gum. I know how some people feel about guar gum or xanthan gum. It might upset their stomachs just a little bit if they're having too much of it. Now for me personally, I've never had an issue with it upsetting my stomach at all. I will say the intensity and the sheer volume of the kind of wicked farts that guar gum or xanthan gum yields is just completely on another level. Almost like my butthole whenever I have xanthan gum and guar gum is trying to play progressive overload with how intense and how much more I can fart than last time. But hey, it makes it for some awesome recipes, so who gives a shit? I love this recipe because of how simple it is to make the pancakes. Like, I'm over here when I make my pancake recipes trying to, like, mix all different things in a blender, make sure the ratios between wet and dry ingredients are on point so it's not too dry, not too wet. And it's just as simple as just throwing bread and egg whites into a blender and blending that shit up. And it makes a really damn good pancake. Mm. Last bite going down. Mm. Now people are making some comments about Jesse's like, catchphrase of last bite, best bite. And I have to agree with the critics, okay? The last bite is not the best bite. The last bite is in fact the worst bite because there is no more food left. But I absolutely agree with the critics on the statement. Okay, so total calories for that meal are 664 calories, 61 grams of protein, 85 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber, and then only six grams of fat. But that right there was the pre-workout meal. Gonna go and get ready for the gym and we will carry on with this day. Alrighty, currently on our way to the gym, we have in here one scoop of pump action. We took our fat burner, have some EAAs, all supplements off of shopusa.com. You use code JGFREE at checkout to save yourself free shipping. With my man, Hondo Matic, he is the man with the static. Gonna hit a pole workout today, baby. <sighs> Let's go. Alrighty, so just me to the gym. I mean, look at this. Lights are completely out. First one's here, we open it up. I think we should work out like this, just completely in the dark. How true, <laughs> how true champions are f made. So first exercise, I usually start with like some type of row movement. Usually be the T-bar row, but that machine is currently unavailable. This gym right now is empty. The music is off. Usually I would kind of like commentate and talk in between sets, but the music is so loud that it's just like there's no point in obviously doing that. So we're in here by ourselves. Music's off, working on the silence. I like to hear my blood flow get to my muscle as I go through the set. So this guy's gonna be a bent over like T-bar row, I guess you can say. We've got the chest support. We're using this bad boy as the uh, actual rowing apparatus. We're going three to four sets in between 10 to 15 reps. So you want to add 25s to this movement right here. Usually I used to add a plate, but the 25s uh, allow for a little greater range of motion. So you just want to stack those up and you can load more of them. So it makes you look stronger than you actually are. A little bit of a pro tip right there. This will be the third and final set. So we're gonna do a little bit of a drop set here. We're gonna go 10 to 15 uh, with this one, strip it uh, and basically till failure with the rest of them. Double drop set. Just kind of going all out right here on this last one to failure and beyond. Blast off. <clears throat> Oh, my God. 
That last set right there is pretty much to a failure. I was only able to get a couple reps in and then just a little bit of partial reps. The difference between like an advanced lifter and a beginner is a, a beginner might just do like straight sets, intermediate might do like one or two drop sets. When you get more advanced, you gotta throw in like just more sets to failure and beyond failure. So I hit failure on the first one. Beyond failure is doing the drop set with some partials in there just to squeeze out a little bit more muscle growth. If I were to come in here and just do straight sets the whole way through, I just, I'm leaving gains on the table. So make sure you're pushing yourself. Oh, look at the camera. It's over. <laughs> All right, so another tip in the gym too, okay? You gotta make sure you come into the gym with a pump cover, okay? You don't just show the whole thing right away. You gotta make sure you have some blood flow in the muscle. Also, if you have control over like the AC, which most people don't, but there's a giant fan there and there's a smaller fan in the corner, we don't basically turn those on right now, okay? We wait till somebody requests to turn the fan on. The more heat that you got going on, the more blood flow, more blood flow means a bigger pump. So, tarp number one coming off. Yeah, always make sure you get a pump cover on. That way when you take the tarp off, you're fully vascular at that point, fully erect, and all the ladies in the gym can admire your pump. Isn't that right, ladies? It's unfortunate. Alrighty, just got back from the gym. Gonna have a little bit of a post-workout snack before I head off to church. We have some chocolate protein sickles, Greg's cookbook right here. These things, just right around 300 calories for the entire batch. It's gonna be right about 900 calories, but I'm in a little bit of a rush. I'm gonna eat these, and then I will see you guys as the day rolls on. Alrighty, just got back from church. Gonna go ahead and eat a wrap here. Uh, what we have in here is the Greek yogurt ranch, G. Hughes barbecue sauce, some chicken, a little bit of onion, iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce, spinach. Uh, I already counted in the total calories the whole bag of spinach and whole bag of iceberg lettuce. I'm gonna be eating that later today as a salad. So both of those bags are already accounted in my calories, as well as one slice of Velveeta cheese, like 35 calories for the entire slice. Uh, and I'm gonna have this with a bag of popcorn, but overall calories, overall calories after this meal with a bag of popcorn will be 1606 calories, right around just 1600 calories for the entire day so far. Go to this wrap a little bit of taste test. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Barbecue ranch wrap, absolutely favorite sauce to put on the wraps. Today is Sunday, June 13th. I mean, we're six days out from our next show. We're counting down the days right now, creeping into that next show. 
So I just posted a video today uh, <laughs> and you she commented on it. Apps are a means of time traveling to the next meal time when cutting. I think this is absolutely hilarious because in my last video I talked about how I took a nap and it's actually so true like naps are like the time travel it's the anabolic time chamber to get to your next meal i mean you're sleeping so you're recovering and then you're approaching your next meal you'll be waking up fresh ready to accept maximized protein synthesis you should leave for that comment that was absolutely hilarious also have a diet coke with this meal as well but anyways ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna go and eat this and i'll see you guys as the day rolls on Alrighty, next meal of the entire day, and we're going with a classic, one bowl of Smart Pop popcorn, as well as one anabolic protein pizza, fat-free cheese, turkey pepperoni, some mushrooms, some onions on this bad boy, on one Joseph Lavash bread. This brings our total caloric intake to 2,277 calories. Right now, I'm currently just enjoying the last foods of freedom, some of my favorite recipes just because on Tuesday we go into a carb depletion, carb depletion for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then Friday we get to carb up on all the shit I normally don't get to eat. Candy bars, cereals, all that good stuff. Now I am giving myself a choice on like one of my carb up meals to go with either french fries, pizza, or pancakes and like hash browns. Leave a comment down below what I should carb up on the french fries, pizza, or pancakes and hash browns. Now, usually one day out, you get a carb up, you get to fill the muscle out. I just said likes to have his fries. My opposing coach likes his pancakes with like real maple syrup on top of it. And then Chris Elkins likes his Little Caesars pizza. I'm not gonna have Little Caesars as my choice of pizza. Like, that. like that's, that's like not that appetizing. But out of those, which one should we do? Protein pizza and popcorn combination is just one of my favorites of all time. Mm. For both of these things, around 670 calories. I want to make the food a little more voluminous, just add more vegetables on that pizza. Mm. I'm going to eat this, and I'll see you guys as the day rolls on. Alrighty, next meal of the entire day. Really a pre-cardio snack. Gonna have two of these Yasso Greek yogurt ice cream bars. Steamed mint and chocolate chip flavor. 100 calories a bar right here. Mm. Pre-cardio snack. We have 45 minutes of cardio to do. And then depending on how I'm feeling on Monday, how I'm looking on Monday, uh, I probably will just keep the cardio right around 45 minutes. Um, I'm gonna drop maybe on average like, you know, three to five pounds over the course of Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, simply based off of just depleting the body of glycogen and cutting my carbohydrates. Today, I woke up at 163 pounds. I lose anywhere between three to five pounds. That's exactly where I wanna be before my one day out carb up. So I might just keep it around 45 minutes from here on out to the rest of the show. We've been coasting around 2,800 calories, which is phenomenal for an overall cut. Next year, I would love to be able to cut right around 3,000 calories. Working up no more to an hour of cardio a day. Pretty excited, so this is it. This is the final push. I mean, as these days go on, it is, it is harder and harder to just get through the day. This next week's a busy work week and just a busy week overall. So gonna just enjoy these final moments here of these Greek yogurt ice cream bars before the actual show day. We have today and tomorrow to eat some, so these are actually last too so we have today to eat these um and then it's you know peak week hell week after these i'll be right around just 2400 calories the entire day so this is it but anyways yeah i'm gonna eat these hit some cardio and i'll see you guys in the last meal of the entire day Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen last meal of the entire day we have one massive salad here with some spinach some iceberg lettuce uh, some bell peppers, some mushrooms, a little bit of canned tuna in this salad here, and the other part of the canned tuna uh, in this wrap with Joseph pita bread, a of light mayo on there, uh, as well as some bell peppers and more iceberg lettuce. Uh, bringing our overall caloric intake to 2,862. Uh, the overall macros, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know if they're even accurate on here just because I did a quick add on my fitness pal and added 300 calories from the protein sickles that I had earlier in the day because I didn't add that food in my fitness pal, I just added the calories because at the end of the day, I don't care about the overall macros, I just care about calories. This is the second to last day of the actual diet before we go into peak week and carb deplete. This right here is what I am most excited for though. This is a wrap with bell peppers, tuna, the light mayo. Mm. 
Tasty canned tuna on its own, not that great. You put in a wrap with some vegetables, put a little sauce on there. Cardio is done, really gonna eat this, let the food digest, do a little bit of work, and then get ready for tomorrow. Wrapping up another episode here. Hope you enjoyed the full day of eating. This prep series so far has been an absolute blast to make it. It's coming to a close though soon. We're, we're rounding that corner. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm wrapping the video up here. Please leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's been your boy, Joe. Peace.